Thank you, Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, for everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Qué envidia esa maca. No sé cómo se dice Hello? en inglés. Hello. Hello. Hello guys. I was I was like uh, ch changing my my microphone so I was like changing my microphone so well uh, hi guys how are you Hi fine thank you Andrew Excellent so get are you ready Are you ready to this Are you ready to practice Yes, yes. ready ready Yes 100% ready. Okay 200 200% that's cool So let's let's wait right now. How how is the weather like? How's the weather like? It, it is raining. Is it raining or not? No, no. raining. It's no, cloudy. Not it's, raining. It's cloudy. It's clear. How's the weather? How's the weather? Tell me about it. It's it's a normal weather. It's no bad bad weather. No, it's good. It's a good weather. One weather. It's 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 a uh, very great. It's like very fresh. It's it's very fresh. Warm, warm, warm. I mean, I, I felt like it was like a, a little a little windy, but there is not right. It's it's a little hot. Yesterday, like two or three days ago, it was very terrible. It was very hot. No wind. So I was like, it's melting. So I was like melting. We say derritiéndose. We hear in the country, people, you know, at, at 12 or 1, 1 p.m., people, you know, they start melting. Derretirse, you know, they, they, and also sweating. Sweating, that would say in Spanish, es como sudar. Cuando usted suda, transpira. That's the, that's a problem when you're on the street. And it's, it's especially exposed to... Um, say gripe? Huh? The flu? Where it say gripe? The flu or the cold. I'm cold. Oh my goodness. Have you taken medicine or something like that? Like, I know medication that can help you to, you know, stop that? Oh, I, I have I have flu two times. Twice. Wow. Twice a yearly. April and October. April and October. Mm, okay. Wow. But Allergy? No. No. Thanks no. God! Thanks God! Thanks God that nobody had suffered about COVID. Uh, have you? Have you? Been... time. Twice yearly. Twice yearly. April and October. Every time. Every year. In this case, twice this this year. So you say twice this year, or you or or that this this year it happened. What? Uh, you got cold. Twice this this past year. Every year. Every year, twice. April and October. I mean, once a time or different times during the no. during. The, it's a tradition. It's a tradition each, that you. <laughs> each year, I have cold twice. Yearly. Ah, okay. That's why you say yearly because always, yearly. Uh -huh. Always April and always October. That, that was that was a very weird um, situation. Why specifically those months? We don't, it's 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 something weird, but well anyway. Okay, well. When so the when, when the climate changes. When the weather changes. When the when weather, the weather changes. changes. All right. When the weather changes, definitely you are you are gonna get some. Uh, consequences about this weather it's cards right well we're gonna start and also i need to open the the attendant list 
uh, to pass the attendance list for those who are always on time. And congratulations because you are always on time. And we also, we program. So we, we programmed what to do and yeah. So let me check here because I need to open the agenda, the, the list, the attendance list. So when somebody is not in class, you say, teacher, this person eh, is not in class. This person is absent. Oh, this person didn't attend the class. But never say assist because we will say, teacher, el estudiante no asistió a la clase. The teacher, the student eh, didn't assist the class. Entonces, assist no se ocupa para esta situación. Porque assist, assist es un poquito más referente a ayudar. Let me assist you. Entonces, no tiene nada que ver con, con asistir a la clase. To, entonces, para eso te dice attend. To be in the class. Attend the meeting. Ajá, attend the meeting. So, you, you stay there. Y assist es más de ayudar. Como que déjame asistirte. Let me assist you. It's like uh, taking care, attending people. Okay, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uh, two weeks. Uh, we go, vamos a pasar así la asistencia. Así que, everybody, please uh, pay attention. Today is Tuesday, right? I think like, I think like it is Thursday or, 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 or Friday. I don't know why. But I feel like if I am like in, in, on Thursday, and we are, we are in Tuesday. So, well, I don't know. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Um, Brenda Beatriz Calderon. Present. Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Okay, cool, Brian. Um, Kristen Ernesto Lasso. Present. Yeah, cool. Always on time, guys. That's awesome. David Orlando Ivarez. David Orlando. He's not yet, right? Okay. Uh, Eliat Sael Matut. Present. Cool. Uh, Guillermo Antonio Garcia. He's not yet. Not yet. Uh, Jose Mazariego is there. I'm here. Okay, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Not yet. Not yet, right? Mm, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Not yet. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, he's there. Just one second. I'm thinking about the. One second, one second. All right, all right, all right. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, Mauricio Enrique Garcia. Mauricio Enrique Garcia is not yet. Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. Present. Okay, he's there. Thanks a lot. Uh, Mayra Berlis Moreno. Not yet, Mayra. Uh, Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Thanks for being on time. Uh, Saira Marlene Larin. Present. Excellent. And also Wendy Mar uh, Maribel Zabaleta. She's there. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima Santos. She is not yet. So she hasn't incorporated yet to the, to the class, right? Teacher. So, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Teacher. Karen, you're right. Hi. Oh, Karen has joined us. Okay, hello, Karen. Gracias, Arnaldo. Hi. How are you? You're welcome. <laughs> okay. All right, that's cool. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for being here. So we're about to start today. In Mayra our... Veraliz, teacher. Ah, también. So she has joined us. Okay, okay. Okay. Good evening. Hello, who says good evening? Teacher, ¿qué pasó? Acabo que, de entrar. Los que se van, los que se van a incorporar. pasando lista. ¿Qué? No. Ok, José. Mayra, si oye, ¿cómo que anda perdida todavía? 
Who says good evening? ¿Quién dijo good evening? ¿Alguien por ahí? ¿Alguien más acaba de entrar? Bueno, aparte de, ¿Sí? de Karen y... David Orlando. Ah, David. Ok, David. Yes. All right, David. One second. Ok, so that's ok. If you see someone else joining, you say teacher, somebody has already joined the class so we can add him into the attendance list because it's important to be on time with this. Ok, so we're about to start today, guys, and also welcome to all of you. I mean, I want you to breathe because, I mean, for some of you that are here early, it's like, wow. En siendo yo aquí, y ya están ustedes conectados, like, wow, those guys are like, wow, they are very, very responsible. They actually are on time. Because sometimes that I know that there are some of you guys that is like, eh, se van uniendo a la clase y entonces como que eh, por sus horarios y wow, this is pretty, very complicated. But we're here. Teacher, to... is here. Teacher. Sorry. Eh, Guillermo. Guillermo. Yeah. People, people say that people say that the, the meaning Guillermo, but, but I don't know about it. Some people say, I don't know the meaning, but people say that Guillermo in English is William. Some people say that. So you say Guillermo, so you can say William in English. Yes, but I prefer to say William in my case. <laughs> it's like it's on a William Guillermo, so that it's the same. Well, let's go with that. Well, guys, we're gonna start today, and also I would like to to ask you guys, I mean, about your your day. How was your day? Uh, somebody that would like to share your day. How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo su día hoy? Somebody that would like to share in English, of course, in English, something in English. My day was happy because uh, today is travel agent's day. And uh, it's what? I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Travel agent's day. Uh, it's a travel agent day. Uh, really? Yes. Is, 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 I, I didn't know there was a travel agent day. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yesterday, secretaries or yeah. assistants day. Yeah, yeah. Today is. The travel agent day. I, wow. celebra I celebrate in March and April. <laughs> so, so you are a travel agent? Yes. Oh, congratulations, guys. Say congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, teacher, yeah, yes. Teacher. Jenny, join us. Jenny, Jenny Suleyma, right? Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm here. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Welcome. So it's because we have already passed the, passed the list, so just, um, well, that's okay. All right, so welcome, and also that's good to have a, an agent, an agent, you know, a travel agent date, right? So all of you have your special day. Yeah. Okay. I well, celebrate two days. <laughs> two days. Okay, that's cool. You need to celebrate it. You deserve it. You deserve it. It's very important to have a celebration like this. She will not. She will not huh? ticket for the round the world. Yeah, a, a, for the a, the world. A, a travel ticket. Yes. That, would be, that would be awesome to have a travel ticket. Yeah. Yes. Let's that's... go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Every, that's... Everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Sounds go. great. Okay, that's much better. That is much better. That is serious. <laughs> well, guys, we're about to start today talking a little bit about the in uh, the last content. What did we study in the last class? What do you remember? What do we do in the process? What did we do in class? What did we talk about? A ver, ¿quién, quién se acuerda qué vimos en la clase anterior? How to use ING. Okay, and all right. Okay. Yes. What else? Eh, ajá. Eh, esto es lo que vimos ayer, chicos. 
no van a pensar que es lo de ahora, va. Esto es lo que vimos ayer. ¿Pero qué vimos? Porque yo no me acuerdo tampoco. What can we do? The structure for uh, present continuous for future event, events. Exactly. What is the, the structure? Yes, that's it. And, you know. yeah, subject, yeah. Uh, subject plus where to be plus main bear uh, with add ing or gerund, more complement plus complement. All right, so that's 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 cool. That's understandable. Yeah, of course. So we we were talking about the present continuous, but with a future context. And also we work some statements, we work in some statements like who schedules the events at your workplace, some of you do it, some of the bosses, so people do it. And what are some events that are taking place next week? So there is going to be a religious event, there's going to be a party, I'm going to have a meeting, I'm going to work, I'm going to travel to this place, I'm going to do this one. So you have different like activities, events are taking place next week. We're talking about future events. We practice a conversation about attending a conference, presenting a project, informing some the committed, so vocabulary that we use, some expressions that we use in the last class. Y ahí estuvieron practicando algunos y, y pues eh, practicaron en parejas lo que es la conversation. You were Just practice, practice paragraph from uh, the coworker. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, with a partner, you work with a partner and also socialize this. Yes, yeah, and also, well, working on these activities, the structure about the present continuous, the subject, plus the verb B, plus the main verb, and the gerund, and the complement, like, I am meeting the interns tomorrow, what time is Maria interviewing the people, I am writing the report next week, I am completing the, the project, I am speaking with my boss about the new meeting, I am organizing the papers. I am taking care about the accounts in the company. I am having a conversation with the CEO about the important meeting. So, y hablamos acerca del presente continuo para acciones en futuro. Y aquí desarrollamos las estructuras, algunos ejemplos y las reglas generales para decir que hemos acordado hacer algo, usamos el presente continuo. Hemos acordado hacer algo en el futuro. I'm going to the theater. Um, yes, I am going to play soccer. She is going to arrive to, the, to this place. Entonces, usamos esta estructura, ¿verdad? Hicimos oraciones y pudimos comprender un poquito acerca del presente continuo en, en la forma futura. Esto solo era el, el uno de los temas, porque hoy vamos a continuar trabajando acerca del present continuous, que es uno de los temas que son muy usados bastante para hablar acerca de acciones que pasan en un tiempo en el en el presente, o so, en este caso cosas que están pasando en el momento que lo estamos diciendo eh, yo me pregunto en este momento, ¿qué estarán haciendo todos ustedes? Eh, si yo les pregunto en inglés, what are you doing? Eh, empezamos con esta pregunta what are you doing? ¿qué están haciendo? o ¿qué estás haciendo? puede ser para plural o singular Oh, teacher, I am uh, paying attention. Um, I am checking the material. ¿Qué están haciendo? What are you doing? I am watching the co video conference for practice English, uh, everyone. Okay. Okay, what else? What else are you doing? ¿Qué más están haciendo? Me? Mm -hmm. I yeah. am drinking a cup of coffee. Drink. Ah, okay. He's drinking a cup of coffee, like Karen, right? Yeah, she has a cup of coffee all the time. So, yeah, so he's drinking a cup of coffee. That's cool. Yeah, that's okay. What else? What, what else? Are, what are you doing? We're learning English online. We are learning English online. That's, that's another option, too. Yes. What else are you doing? 
I writing. I am writing my notebook. Oh, come on. Writing, writing, writing. Yes. I I writing in my notebook. Yes. Okay. Excellent. I'm writing. I I am. Oh, I'm writing. So that's the word. Okay. We're going to study today the the next video conference. That is the conference twelve. It's video conference twelve. Simple present versus present continuous. So we're going to identify teacher and midi cuál es la diferencia entre el presente simple y el presente continuo. ¿Cómo está esto, teacher? Explíqueme, porque no tengo idea. So, esto es sencillo. Hay dos cosas que son bien diferentes que vamos a estudiar acerca del presente simple y el presente continuo. Por ejemplo, alguien me estaba diciendo en inglés. Teacher, I am always uh, playing video games. Y entonces yo me quedé. Qué interesante lo que me acaba de decir este, este muchacho. Lástima la estructura gramatical que acaba de utilizar. Entonces, vamos viendo cómo la estructura gramatical es muy importante. Parece que en una conversación, like in the street, in an informal conversation, people can have like the opportunity to talk. Hay mucha gente que habla el, el inglés de una manera informal. Es por eso que es importante que usted estudie la gramática, porque es el esqueleto de todo. O sea, usted puede decir muchas cosas y la gente le entiende. Ah, está diciendo esto. Oh, yeah, I understand pero aunque no sea gramaticalmente. ¿Qué tal si yo viniera y les dijera a ustedes, hey, miren chicos, la verdad es que yo, yo comer pupusas es delicioso. ¿Me entenderían ustedes eso? No. Yo comer pupusas es lo máximo. Sí, o sea, sí yo se te... entiende, pero no está bien. Ajá, yo te entiendo, okay. pero no está bien. Y es normal. Este... Entonces, eh, aquí la gente dice, por ejemplo, Mira, ¿y tú qué te gustaría comer eso? Y tú dices, no voy a querer. Eh, entonces, eh, mira, yo no, no quiero o no voy a querer. Entonces, eh, la gente dice acá, eh, I had to go. You had to go there. You had to arrive there. I, I voy a, I, people, people say that. I mean, it's just like, I voy a llegar. I, I voy a llegar. I voy a llegar. No sé cómo dicen, but I mean, you say that. Ah, ok, está bueno. No llegues. Okay. So people, people, I mean, Use slangs. I mean, people understand that. Oh, es como la gente dice acá, ahí, ahí te voy a caer. ¿A dónde, ¿Y a dónde vas a llegar? Llega al lugar. <risa> Llega a ese lugar. You know, you have to be there. Ahí estaré ahí. Yo llegaré ahí. Ahí, ahí te voy a caer. And people understand that. It's, it's, it's like a very common colloquial expression. En el salvadoreño es una expresión coloquial. Es una expresión urbana. Es una coloquial expression. And we have a lot of expressions here like that. Y la gente te entiende. Entonces, es in, in, gramaticalmente, gramaticalmente es incorrecto, right Pero la gente se ha acoplado a este contexto. Es por eso que tenemos que tener mucho cuidado en cuanto al uso del present continuous, el present simple, porque hay ciertas reglas que tenemos que, que ten, tener en cuenta. O sea, porque nuestro inglés no va a ser un inglés normal. O sea, vamos a hablar inglés, pero lo vamos a hablar bien. O sea, una gramática buena. And I will tell you one of my experiences. Eh, hace, hace muchos años, Aquellos diciembre que nunca volverán, dice un dicho, no sé, o una, una, una canción, no sé qué es. Pero, eh, estábamos en, en, una, en una campaña internacional, habían venido eh, americanos, son Americas, eh, Americans came to the country, y habíamos ido a un evento que estaba en una zona que se llama San Martín, eh, San Martín. Entonces fuimos a una zona eh, donde era una rural, rural area, es una zona rural. Entonces yo estaba ahí como, como asistente, como teacher. Estaba, yo, era, yo era teacher, y entonces fui a acompañar en ese evento. Entonces habían como unos 15 americanos, like, they were like 15 americans, so happened like a time ago. We're talking about, quizás eso fue hace como unos 10 años, quizás around 10 years ago, or more than that. I was like a very young at that time. Eh, And also there were some Americans talking, you know, they were like trying to evaluate Salvadorian English. Entonces dijeron, bueno, vamos a ver cómo es el inglés de los salvadoreños aquí. Y cabal iba pasando yo. <laughs> Entonces yo tenía que estar ahí, right? So I had to be there uh, trying to communicate with people, try to get some ideas to help them and everything. And I met some people, some Americans. Conocí muchos americanos. Entonces eh, me decían por ahí algunos, mira, ¿y tú dónde has estudiado inglés? Eh, ¿Dónde has estudiado inglés? Ok, so I study here in the school and everything. And they say, wow, it's because you speak formal. Eh, es porque tú hablas bien formal. That's why, because we learn from school. So when we study at school, we know that we write the proper grammar. Eh, o sea, eh, 
y preguntaron eso porque hablaba un inglés formal. Entonces, es por eso la, la pregunta, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Verdad? Eso es, por eso es importante estudiar la gramática porque usted habla mucho mejor. No, voy a llegar, no iba a llegar yo, ¿verdad? A decir, hey, what's up, what's up, guys? Tampoco, ¿verdad? Decir, hey, no, good, good morning. So, all right. So, using a formal, formal English. Ok, vamos, vamos con la... ¿Qué vamos a lograr este día? So, we're gonna, we're gonna describe future work events. Ok, vamos a formar future work events. Y vamos a estudiar lo siguiente. We have a, the first... This is a warm-up activity. Let's start. Who is, in the, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? As we know in the company, there are some important people that they are the first ones to stay in the company. Hay personas que son importantísimas en la empresa que son las primeras personas que llegan a la empresa, al lugar de trabajo. No sé cómo hacen, pero ya están ahí. Y entonces yo digo, bueno, y yo que a, a, de milagro llego al trabajo y a estas personas ahí están. Y voy a decir, wow, this is incredible. ¿Qué hacen? Vuelan, llegan temprano. So what's the, what happened with them? So that is the question that perhaps you will ask. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Y la segunda pregunta es, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Bueno, a veces en mi trabajo, antes lo primero que llegaba a hacer era llegar a dormir. Ya después medio me despertaba y ya iniciaba mi trabajo. Lo que pasa es que eh, teníamos transport, transporte de la empresa, entonces nos pasaban a recoger bien temprano. Entonces yo todo así como dormido con mi almohada iba para el trabajo y entonces llegaba a dormir. Entonces ya después, cuando era my chief time, so the time that I had to be online, so ya estaba listo, ready to work. So the, what is the first thing you do? Uh, maybe have some ideas like, you know, having a breakfast. Look, in, hay unos llegan a desayunar al trabajo. So another day you start like checking the material, verifying the agenda, looking for previous calls, things about they, they couldn't complain in the last session or the day before. O sea, ¿qué cosas es lo que van a hacer? ¿verdad? Muchos pueden decir, bueno, voy a desayunar o llego a, a revisar la agenda de este día o a revisar las últimas cosas que hice en el, eh, el día anterior. So, van a contestar las siguientes preguntas. You will answer the following questions. And then we're going to socialize here in the class and talk, right? Así que podemos iniciar. So you say, the first person eh, to arrive is, the first person to arrive is, um, who? No sé. Ustedes? ¿Quién de ustedes llegan, llegan temprano a abrir el, la compañía? May, yo, Zaira. Really, Zaira. Wow, Zaira. Otro nivel, Zaira. Ella, ella hace las agendas, llega temprano. Otro nivel. Otro nivel, Zaira. Excelente. Eh, at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. So you had to go, I mean, you had to go to your job earlier. What time do you go to your job? O sea, ¿a qué horas tiene que salir para, para estar acabar a las seis? What time you had to go out from home? 4.30 a.m. Yeah. Superhero. You are a superhero. Yeah, so it, it, casi es la misma hora también que, que, que tomo en mi trabajo. Bueno, antes que estuviera en línea, porque estoy en línea, en, en, en la clase en la mañana estoy en línea. Entonces, pero cuando ya vuelva a la normalidad, a 4.30, I had to wake up. Uh, tengo que levantarme esa hora. Ok, but it's very early. ¿Quién más abre su empresa? Who else open the or oh, arrive early at the workplace? Me, Wendy. What time, what time you had to be there? What time you had to be uh, at the company? Very, very, ¿cómo se dice tarde? Late? Very late. What time? Eight. Um, ¿Cómo sería? Ay, no sé cómo decir, pero no, normalmente es 8, 8 a.m. Normally at 8 a.m. Because, o sea, pero yo llego antes. No sé cómo decir. I, I go, I, I arrive before. I arrive before. I arrive. Arrive before. Arrive before. Uh -huh. I arrive, arrive before. Uh -huh. Yes. Before from a, a, a m. Okay, that's okay. But at this time, the company opens. A esa hora abre la compañía. At this yes. time. 
Ah, okay. Yeah. A, a little late. My my bus. My bus arrived. Uh, only park <laughs> park his car. <laughs> okay, all right. And, and I I open the office. Ah, okay, all right. That's okay. So yeah. we have Saida and we have Wendy. Somebody else it arrives early to, to his job. I mean, not necessarily to open the job. No, no es que va a ir a abrir la empresa, sino que, o sea, por lo menos los primeros que llegan. Me open. <laughs> who, who, who? Oh, you open, yeah. So you, you open. Okay. Yeah. You say, I, I open. Yeah. ¿Cómo es? Tengo las llaves. Llaves. Ay, a mí se me olvida todo. I have, the, I have the keys. I have the keys. I have the keys. Uh -huh. The okay. keys? Yes. yes. Usted es como San Pedro, tiene la llave de, del workplace. Okay, muy bien, that's cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, excellent. Okay, guys, um, do you have any questions about the vocabulary that we have here? I don't know, something that you would like to socialize. And, um, ready. Not, yes, ready. Okay. Alguien más? Okay, so we're going to start. And we're going to start here. Let me see. Okay, let me see here. Okay, vamos a ver. Le vamos a pedir a... Eh, hoy lo vamos, a hacer, lo vamos a hacer de una manera diferente. Jose Arnoldo, eh, answer your questions. Answer your questions. Answer. Yes, please. In my workplace, the first person to arrive sometimes is a security security agent, or sometimes it's me. Security agents or me, okay, or sometimes me, right? Okay. Okay, anyway. Um, the first thing uh, vale. that I do is clean my work area and turn off, turn on the PC. Mm, okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, uh, Jose Arnoldo, select somebody from the class. Select a partner to continue with the equations. Karen. Karen. Okay, Karen. Hi. Miss yeah. Miss Morataya. Eh, la respondo de un solo o él me va a preguntar. Answer, answer. Okay. Um, the first question. I don't know, but I arrive just at my time of entry, always at 7 a.m. Okay, but do you know? Do, so you don't know who's the person who goes first? No, okay. I don't know. It's a, it's a <laughs> okay, it's, it's unknown, it's desconocido. Right? <laughs> I entry just at time. Okay, just you go. The, the most okay. important is that you go to your job, right? Yes. Que llega, así que <laughs> that's important. All right, that's cool. And okay. The, and the second question, what do you have for the second question? Um, okay. Um, I get to turn on my computer and then I prepare my first coffee in the morning. Really? I don't believe you. No le creo, I'm just, that's okay. <laughs> that, that's important, right? So that is so, and also because people say that coffee can help to energize. No sé, ¿quiénes de ustedes toman café en la mañana? Me, three, three times in the morning. Three times. Another three times in the afternoon. Yeah. The people have... Sometimes in the night. Oh my God, so you drink coffee a lot. Yeah. I, I, I take like two cups, uh, two cups a day, a complete day, like two, two cups of coffee. That's okay. Mm. All right, Karen. <laughs> uh, select, yeah, it's just the Miss Coffee. Yeah. So select <laughs> somebody um, else, Karen. Okay. Um, Alguien que usted vea calladito, que usted vea que, que, que ahí se nos está escondiendo, no sé. Jenny. Jenny. All right, Jenny. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Hi Jenny. Okay, uh, help Hi. us with the two with the two answers, your personal answers. Um, 
the first person to arrive at workplace is Marielos. Arrive. Arrive, perdón, arrive. Is Marielo. She sales executive, <clears throat> but she arrived on your motorcycle she with arrived? her brother. Arrive on In, your motorcycle. On her, her motorcycle. Uh, her motorcycle. Uh -huh, with her brother. Uh, she don't enter at the office because the office is closer. The office open at uh, thirty past seven. A.M. Oh, mm -hmm. nice, Jenny. What's a very, very nice description. And what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? What What you do um, when you go to the office? I check my agenda and mails. Excellent. Very good, Jenny. Okay, now, Jenny, you select the, the, the next person. You select a very funny person you see. Elija una ¿Eh? persona que usted vea que es bien funny, and a funny person. Funny. Ana Lilian. Ok, Ana Lilian. Ok, Ana Lilian. <laughs> ok, Ana Lilian. Eh, answer your first question. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, <clears throat> arrive early at 6 a.m. Uh, uh, clock. Uh, but I open my partner opens the company. Okay, okay. Your partner opens the company. And what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? What you do when you go to the workplace? Um, check check the agenda. Y no sé cómo decir tomarme un café. <laughs> And, ah, okay, drink a coffee and drink a coffee. Drink a coffee. Okay. Ahí está. Ya me había salvado de Karen, dije yo. <laughs> yo agachada oh. que no me diera Karen. Mire. Yo iba a decir tu nombre, pero a la vez pasada me reclamaste. <laughs> Ay, no. Yo ya sentía que decía. Me bueno, salvé, dije yo, pero, pero no. No, yo creo que, que ahí fue por, por texto, teacher, ahí le dijo, te dijo a vos y luego le dije a Ana. No la podíamos dejar, Ana Lilian. Mire, por, <ríe> por clave se hablan ustedes aquí, ya vi. Ok, oh, pero este es un momento, este es un momento de reivindicarse. Momento de reivindicarse. Elija el siguiente, oh. choose the next one. Elija a la persona que usted vea que, que es bastante comunicativa. Elí. Eli, ok, Eli. Eli Atzael Matut. Hello. Ok, Eli. Eh, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Um, the first person in the arrive at your workplace is the security. Security guard. Yes. yes. Okay, and uh, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Uh, the first thing I do when I arrive is go check my my truck. Check the truck. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's that's important. Yeah, check the truck. Yes. Okay. It's very important. Important, but my daily day. Okay. That's okay. Well, now you select, okay, you select the next person that is a serious person too. Una persona que usted vea que casi no lo, no le escuchamos ah, participar así. En... Espéreme, déjeme, solo déjeme ojear este libro, a ver las caritas aquí, vamos a ver. Ah, mire, varias están viendo, mire, ve. vamos a ver. Va, pero vamos a acudir a Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez, él quiere que, que participar ahorita. Mm, Risa te daba Mauri. <laughs> Mauricio Ernesto. Ok. Ok, Mauricio, the first question. Um, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? A supervisor. Work 24 hours. What? 24 hours? He doesn't sleep. Exacto. Wow. Ah, pero no hacen a las ocho ya están dormidos. <laughs> ah, vaya. <laughs> bueno, ahí sí, ahí sí no. 
no sabemos qué decir. Bien. And what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? I ask, I ask if they did not cause novelty. If, if there is not uh, something new, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, if there is something new, okay, that's okay. And choose the last one, uh, Mauricio, choose the last person, please. Elija quien usted quiera. Okay, vamos a ver. Y otros ahí, y otros ahí, ojalá que no me diga a mí, que no me elija a mí cuando estaba en escuela, you know. Voy a hacer el dormido. <laughs> ok. Por, por, los, por los aritos la identificaron ahorita. Ah, ok. Ah, Mayra. Ok, Mayra. Ok, the first one, Mayra. Ok, who's the first person? The earrings. Son los earrings. Ok, who's the first person to arrive earrings. at your workplace? Um, security, Mr. George. Mr. George. Georgie, es de cariño, es Jorge, pero le decimos Georgie. Ah, Mr. Georgie. Ay, por Dios. It's a nickname. Ay, es cierto, me lío, no. It's a nickname, uh, Georgie. Okay. Yes. Georgie. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. And what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? I drink coffee, check my email, I order the desk, I check the report. Okay, the reports. All right, that's okay. Thank you so much. That was a actually a great part. Veo que todos coincidieron que toman café en la mañana. Entonces, está bien, right? So it's okay. It's a tradition, a Salvadorian tradition. And, <laughs> and also people buy some pupusas on the street, right? Or sometimes they go to a, to a kind of food store. I don't know. It's like a restaurant and buy some pupusas. Delicious. It's a great combination. All right, we go on with the next part. We have a conversation. Listen to your teacher, read and conversation. Then practice with the partner. Quiero que escuchen la pronunciación y la vamos a practicar acá en clase. Así que eh, todos anotando, un consejo que les puedo dar es que vayan escuchando cada palabra. Y si tienen un cuadernito, anote cómo se pronuncia, si hay alguna palabra que para ustedes es conocida. Voy a leer dos veces la conversación. Y usted va a ir verificando. Eh, enfóquese también en los, eh, las horas, porque es importante. Okay, Ryan and Roe. Good afternoon, Roe. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team is in Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing that I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Vamos otra vez desde el inicio. Good afternoon, Roll. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. Um, they are going, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And then first thing that I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Vamos a practicar, eh, vamos a ir a, vamos a practicar en orden. Vamos con la primera. Teacher. Mm. Yes. ¿Qué significa my first activity is to pick up the letters? Eh, es como tomar o recoger las cartas. Um, eh, gracias. Ok. 
cuando hay personas, por ejemplo, en las oficinas siempre hay, mandan cartas, notificaciones, uh -huh. eh, memos, memorandums, en todo, todo they, they take all stuff. Pensó todo que esto. era vehículo, quizá. Un pick-up. Ah. Ok, también significa eh, pick-up, de recoger, el verbo recoger. De recoger, sí. Ajá, to pick-up. Ah, ya, okay. si, ya si dijera Toyota, pues ya usted sabe que ya es otro, otro business. Otro level. <ríe> otro level. So, but in this case, I to pick it up. Eh, to pick up, pick it up. Ok, hey, vamos, hey. vamos a practicar. Ok, vamos a practicar y vamos con la parte por parte. Usted lo va a repetir dos veces. Quiero que lo practique dos veces. Vamos con la primera. Aquí lo, lo, aquí lo subrayo. Good afternoon, Ro. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ro. What are you doing right now? Okay, continue. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team is in Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Oh, the conference with the new team is in Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Okay. Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to work to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? Ok, siguiente. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Okay, um, well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. 
my first activity is to pick up the letters. Well, I arrive at seven or six or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Try with this. Okay, I need a volunteer of two students to practice the conversation. Who wants to help me to practice? Me. Uh, okay. Uh, me, I'll give Wendy. Us. Okay. Okay, Wendy, you will be roll. King, King Mas, quien fue quien dijo me. me? Okay. You can start. Puede comenzar. Okay. Go first. First? Yes. Okay. Go first. You. Me? Okay. Yes, good. yes. Good afternoon, Raúl. Raúl, oh, no sé cómo pronuncia Raúl. Raúl. No. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning, planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready to the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you do usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first things I do you check my email and you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. That's okay. Two volunteers, two other volunteers. Okay, vamos a hacer algo diferente. Vamos a hacer algo diferente. Yes, eh, Zaira. O no sé quién yes, yes, yes. Okay, Zaira, usted va a ser Ryan. Eh, okay. y, ¿Y quién quisiera que participara con usted en esta conversación, Zaira? Um... ¿Quién, ¿Quién dijo mí? Omar. Okay, Omar. Okay, Omar, you will be roll in. Uh, okay. Okay, Saira, you can start. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, please. They are getting re ready for the conference in the meeting room. I say, what time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? I do arrive at six at twenty. I am seeing. Um, the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Please, teacher. Yeah, that's the word. 
Guys, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Any word that perhaps is like unknown for you? Alguna palabra que sea como desconocida para ustedes? Uh, any word that maybe is like uh, not so common for you to, to know the meaning in English? Planning a video conference. Planning. 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 What's the meaning? Planning uh, it's a video conference. Planeando. It's when you oh. are organizing something. You are organizing to do something. So you are planning. Está planeando hacer algo. Mm, okay. Y siempre es presente continuo. Ustedes se fijan, dice, well, I am planning. Es decir, algo que él está haciendo, que está haciendo en un momento determinado. En el momento inmediato. So it actually is happening. Okay. Thank you. All right. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más me pueden decir, chicos? Team, equipo, o oh, no? Eh, team, yeah. Uh, nuestro yeah. equipo, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, correct. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think it's clear, right? Uh, sure. Focus, yes. Uh, getting, get, getting, getting is pronunciation. They are getting. Um, they are getting. Uh -huh. uh, they are, ¿Cuál sería el significado de getting? They are getting ready. Ellos están alistando porque la palabra get ready es una palabra compuesta. Entonces, uh -huh. cuando usted ocupa get ready, significa alistarse. So, uh, yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference. Ya se están alistando para la conferencia. Entonces, uh, get ready. Getting it's ready. It's not the same the get. Yeah, solo la palabra get significa obtener, de conseguir. Pero como, pero como se une con ready, en este caso, la transformación sería alistándose. Mm, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Muy bien, vamos a, vamos a practicar la conversation. Vamos a tener un, un momento breve, uh, six minutes, and then we go back. And I want you to practice, right? Quiero que practique la conversación. Veo que no hay muchas preguntas de la pronunciación, entonces eso me, me, me veo bastante bien. O sea, que pues hayamos practicado. Así que vamos a formar eh, parejas y con su pareja. Eh, recuerden de que está en el, en, en su, en el grupo está la presentación, así que we are going to start. We have six minutes. Let's practice the conversation. Me teacher? Oh, okay, thank you. emails and you well i arrive at 7 or 7 30 it depends on traffic my first activity is to pick up the letters okay switch uh, good afternoon raul where are you going where are you doing right now good afternoon ryan 
what I am planning in a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first things do you? I usually you arrive. Do? I usually arrive at seven at six thirty a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive to seven or seven thirty. Is the depend of traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Good afternoon, Ro. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Raya. Well, I am planning a, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get? your workplace. What's the first thing to do? I usually arrive at 6 30 I am and the first thing I do is to check my e emails and well I arrive at 7 or 7 30. The conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Bye, dale, Karen. Uh, okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you uy, doing right uy, now? Uy, 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 repeat right now. Okay. Hi, Eli. My, no, my name, I, 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 I can hear you. Good afternoon, Eli. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Karen. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting already the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. OK, perfect. I first. Good afternoon, Karen. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Eli. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your time team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to work to place? What? What? Espérate, no, repetí esa. Me hiciste repetir uh -huh. repetir. Okay, okay. <laughs> I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing do you? You do. You do. Place, workplace. Workplace. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30, it depends on traffic. My favorite activity is to pick up the letter. It depends. Depend. De depend. Depends. Depends, teacher, or depend. D. Depends. Uh, uh, mic mic microphone. <laughs> De depends. Depends on. Depends. Depends. Okay. Depending. Depending. Okay. You, you first uh, make your first
Ok, how was the practice? How was the conversation, guys? ¿Cómo estuvo la conversación? ¿Estuvo buena? Eh, ¿Salió bien la práctica? ¿Pocos errores? ¿Cómo estuvo? Es la práctica. Very well, teacher. It's much better. Cada vez es mejor. La, la práctica es cada vez es mejor. Yes. Teacher, tenemos una duda. Eh, ¿Cómo pronuncia usted eh, la última palabra? Letter o letter? Letter. Letter. Okay. Letter. Letter. Con, como con R. Letter. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. To pick up the letters. To pick up the letters. The letters. Pick up the letters. Right. That's okay. Thank you guys for, for the great pronunciation. So we practice. Eh, eso es lo importante, que cada vez vayamos pronunciando mejor. Yo creo que a medida que vamos like eh, practicing the pronunciation, you listen carefully, you just in your songs, you try to practice. Eh, ya después, les aseguro que cuando ya yo les ponga una conversación, ya más adelante usted ya no va a tener necesidad de que yo se la lea. Ya usted lo va a empezar a leer. Good afternoon, bro. What are you doing uh, right now? Oh, good afternoon. Well, I'm planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team, Mrs. Adler. What is her team doing right now? So, entonces, a medida que vayamos practicando, vamos a ir tomando un poquito acerca de, 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 de la práctica. Eh, entonces, la práctica es el maestro. Así que vamos a ir paso a paso. Ok, de esta lectura vamos a responder lo siguiente. Look at this. We we'll go with this. And one moment. Ok, look at this one. According to this one, we're going to socialize the, the most important part. One moment. Uh, one second. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Yes, okay. yes. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay, vamos a responder las siguientes preguntas. We're going to answer the following questions. Who gets earlier at the workplace? That is the first question. Question number two. What is the topic... That what is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? Vamos a responder esas preguntas. Vamos a leer nuevamente lo que es eh, la lectura, the reading. We're going to have the reading. Y en base a eso vamos a contestar esas preguntas. What is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference? Mientras ustedes eh, trabajan en la lectura, vamos a pasar la siguiente asistencia. We're going to pass the attendance list. So... Just give me one moment para pasar la asistencia. Usted dice present. Oh, I'm here. Here, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Eh, Brenda B. Let me see. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Eh, Kristen Ernesto Lazo. Present. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Eliad Sael Matut. Present. Guillermo Antonio García. Present. José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Eh, José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Eh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Present. Ok. Nice, Mauricio. Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Okay. Uh, Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. Omar Francisco. Present. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Y Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Ok, guys, we are, we are complete. Hoy estamos full, eh, full class. Estamos todos los que tenemos que estar. Así que that's ok. It's always, always perfect. Ready. Ok, you're ready. Ok, we have, uh, we have Jose Arnoldo, he's ready. Ok, let's go. Everybody, please check. Eh, y hoy voy a preguntar yo. Hoy voy a preguntar yo. I have some names here. Uh -huh. Uh 
Okay, everybody's ready? Everybody's ready? Hello? Okay, so I will ask, uh, I will ask the first question. So I will select somebody from the class. Let me see, I will ask to Mauricio Enrique. The first question, Mauricio Enrique. Who gets earlier at the workplace? Yes, uh, the microphone, uh, Mauricio Enrique. Yes. Okay, the first question, help me with the first question. Who gets earlier at the workplace? Okay, what is that? Um, maybe Lick Omar. Me está preguntando quién llega primero al, al lugar de trabajo. Uh, according to the conversation. Early at the workplace. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. En base a la conversación. Raúl. Ok, Raúl. Raúl, you shall be right at Six, six, three, e m. Okay, so in this case will be Raul. Okay, guys, do you agree? Uh, do you agree with Mauricio? Is this the answer? Is this the respuesta? ¿Qué dicen? Yes. Yes. Yes, Raul. Excellent. It's Raul. Yes, it's Raul. Good. Super. Okay, congratulations. You did a great job today. So we go on with this. And uh, second, let me see. I will ask somebody. Mm. Let me see. Uh -huh. Guillermo Antonio. Guillermo Antonio, the number two. Uh, what is the topic? What is the topic? Raúl and his team are discussing in the conference. Uh, Guillermo Antonio. Es que no lo tengo, pero. Hello? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Desapareció. No, él se tiene que salir siempre para ver la diapositiva, Ticha. Así nos pasa a veces en la, en la break up room. Ah, está ahí desde de, de un celular. Okay, uh, do you have the answer? Do you have the answer, Guillermo? Tiene la respuesta o todavía no? Eh, no. No. Okay, bien. Entonces vamos a elegir a. Because he doesn't have it yet. And. Por aquí. Okay, Marisol Betsania. Eh, do you have the answer? Uh, no es segura, Tiche, pero creo que es um, Raúl y his team um, planning a video conference. Mm -hmm. Ok. Porque sé qué temas, no encontré qué temas están discutiendo. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, any extra information, guys? 
And they discuss about the new team in San Salvador. Ajá, ok. ¿Qué va a ser en San Salvador? Eh, they are discussing what is, the, what is the new team doing. ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo el nuevo equipo? So that, is, that, is, that would be like the idea. What is the team doing? Exactly. Thank you. Uh, ¿Será they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room? Eh, no, they, they are talking, uh, they are discussing about the new team. Mm. Eh, so, specifically asking what, what they are doing. ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? What they are doing in the conference. Entonces, this is like the main idea about it. Bien, vamos con la siguiente parte. Vamos a un pequeño listening. It says, listen to a short conversation. And please about a woman asking what people are doing right now. Eh, quiero que nos vayamos ahorita. Quiero que nos vayamos en este momento. In this moment. Teacher, entonces la respuesta de la dos. Is that they are, they are discussing about the team. Oh. Eh, the new team. Yeah. The new team. They are talking about the new team. What what are the uh, new team? Doing? New team. Mm -hmm. Only. What okay. they are doing. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. So I want you to go to the listening part. Les he compartido. I have shared a link that we're going to watch. Quiero que veamos un link que les acabo de mandar. Y quiero que escuchen una conversación que está acá. Luego de la conversación vamos a ver algunos detalles y qué pudieran comprender de la conversación. Eh, en este momento pues eh, la pueden escuchar y luego vamos a socializar qué recuerdan ustedes de qué se trataba la conversación. Para eso recuerde poner en mute acá el micrófono para que pueda escuchar y no haya interferencia general. Así que la escuchamos en este momento. Listen the conversation. Está en el chat el link. Ready. Ready. Okay. Excellent. Uh, somebody else is ready. Ready. No, a comer ustedes. 
¿Y right, qué lo estás haciendo go. tanto, tanto no, que no, chatean no, ustedes? Microphone, microphone. Sorry, sorry. Microphone. Ok, so let's go. Uh, ok, let's go, guys. Well, we're going to talk about this one. Uh, about this conversation, what they were talking about, uh, what, what people are doing right now. ¿Qué es lo que ellos están haciendo? Eh, en base a la información. ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? What are they doing? What are they doing? Preguntando a Emilia. What? Platicando sobre... Platicando, ella le pregunta que dónde está... ¿Qué dónde están todos. Y él empieza a describir este, su mamá. Ajá. ¿Qué hace so, en ese momento? Ok, tell me what actions you remember. What actions um, are they doing? ¿Qué acciones están haciendo en inglés? ¿Qué acciones están haciendo? Mommy is shopping groceries. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. But Daddy, there... Dad, every, every week uh, the country club this uh, Playboy. Playboy. El, el hermanito juega videojuegos. Play games. Um, sister play soccer. In the school. Play soccer. The sister. The sister. The sister in the school that play soccer. And brother uh, playing in video games. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, so you, you could identify, for example, what are the common actions that they are doing and also in the real context. Perhaps we study in grammar. Pero las hemos podido escuchar y las hemos podido ver en, en qué momento se ocupan, en qué contexto. What are they doing? Well, my mom is cooking right now. He's playing video games. He's working in the project. They are verifying some information. They are having fun in the beach. They are... Uh, playing basketball in the court. O sea, diferentes acciones que ellos eh, pueden hacer, different actions that they can do. So, this is something important to discuss, right? Vamos con la siguiente actividad. Let's go with the next activity eh, after that we listen and also what actions they are doing. Ya vamos como familiarizándonos un poquito más eh, con, el, con las estructuras. ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? what action, what situation they are experiencing. So it's a very interesting action, right? Lo importante es que podamos verificarlo. Vamos con la siguiente. How to use the simple present versus present continuous. Este es el duelo de titanes. Este es un, este es un duelo de titanes. Cuando usar el present simple and when to use the present continuous. Es, esto es de película, ¿verdad? Ahí con las palomitas para ver en qué va a desencadenar esto. Aunque, usted, aunque parezca tan sencillo, pero esta estructura es tan importante, las dos estructuras son tan importantes que no se pueden unir las dos. No se pueden. Es impossible. No puedo yo confundir un simple present con un present continuous. And I will explain you why. Les voy a explicar por qué. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Vamos a pedir a Que, habla, que participan bastante. Aquí vamos a ver, le vamos a pedir a. Vamos a ver, a Brian Javier. A Brian. Brian, eh, que nos lea el simple present. Uh, read the sim simple present. Leanos el simple present. En el micrófono, Brian. Okay. Uh, ¿Por dónde lo leo? Me suele leer o... Eh, simple present. Para abajo. Mm. Pero no sé cómo decir este S y el, 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 el signo más y el verbo. S, 
plus plus verb slash verb uh -huh. express general truths indicator present habits express timetable event indicator permanent state Hasta ahí, o continuo con el otro. It's okay, it's okay. So I was actually checking here the indicates. Okay, ¿quién nos lee el present continuous? Otro voluntario. Sí. ¿Me? ¿Wendy? No sé, póngase de acuerdo. ¿Quién, quién me ayuda? No, pues no. ¿Quién dijo? Te doy mi lugar, no sé. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Mazariego. Mazariego, dale, Mazariego. Presente continuo. Es, los, am, is, are, not, plus, ver, and ing. Try action happening now. Sample, she's reading a newspaper upstairs. Express annoying edits plus always. Example, you're always forget, forgetting to pay the bills. Describe future arrangement. Example, she's getting married on 3 November. Express temporary states. Example, She's working on the museum until the end of this month. Okay, so we can compare here in the structures. Podemos ver la estructura de que usamos el present simple para expresar verdades. Cuando usted va a decir algo, una realidad, eh, por ejemplo, que la tierra es redonda, the earth is, you know, no circular, for example, is round. Entonces, es una verdad. Por ejemplo, we breathe. Air, respiramos aire, es una verdad. Por ejemplo, people, humans can go, eh, can go to the moon. It's a true. Entonces, para expresar verdades, usamos el present simple. En cambio, el presente continuo describe acciones que están pasando en este momento. I am paying attention. Estoy poniendo atención. You are studying. Usted está estudiando. I'm watching the screen. Estoy viendo la, tele, eh, la pantalla. I'm taking notes. Estoy tomando notas. I am listening to the teacher. Estoy escuchando al maestro. Es decir, acciones que están pasando en este preciso momento las usamos con present continuous. Nos dice el simple present que indicate present habits. Habits. Hábitos. Present habits. Eh, hábitos. Por ejemplo, I, I, the birds return to, to the island every morning. Eh, the birds eh, wake up early and sing. Los pájaros cantan temprano. The animals eh, sleep at night, one example. Entonces, son hábitos que, que es algo común. Usamos el presente simple. I usually go to work in the morning. Usualmente voy al trabajo. Es present simple. Porque es algo que hacemos cotidianamente. En cambio, nos dice el present continuous that express I know in habits. Eh, el presente continuo nos dice que expresa hábitos que no son muy buenos. You are always forgetting to pay the bills. That boy is always smoking. You are not cleaning the house. Uh, I am not drinking water. Entonces usamos el, el present continuo para expresar hábitos 
que no son apropiados. Y eh, vamos con el presente simple, expresa eventos en un tiempo en específico. Por ejemplo, the plane to London takes off at 6.30 a.m. I go to work at 7 a.m. I wake up early at 4.30 a.m. Es decir, eh, cuando nos da un tiempo, usamos automáticamente el presente simple. En cambio, el presente continuo, describe future arrangement, que es lo que vimos ayer. Nos expresa un futuro, es decir, acciones que, que van a pasar en el futuro. She's getting married on 3rd November. Ella se va a casar el 3 de noviembre. I am having a meeting with my boss tomorrow. Eh, you are traveling to Brazil next week. I am going to my job eh, in the afternoon. Entonces, todas estas oraciones me representan un futuro. Y solo lo hace el presente continuo. El presente simple no lo hace. En cambio, el presente simple nos indica un estado permanente. Una acción permanente. I like the new James Bond film. I enjoy, I like to watch uh, the movies. I always exercise in the street. I go to the gym very often. Es un estado o una acción permanente. I like to drink coffee. Entonces es algo que hacemos co cotidianamente. En cambio, el present continuous no lo hace. El, el, porque el presente continuo expresa situaciones temporales. En cambio, el presente simple indica acciones permanentes. Algo que yo hago todos los días. I take a shower. Yo me baño todos los días. Entonces una, es una, una acción permanente. Una acción temporal es, por ejemplo, hey, teacher, I am living in New York. Eh, right now, estoy viviendo en Nueva York ahora, entonces no se sabe si ya el siguiente mes o el otro año va a regresar a su país, entonces eso se le, se le conoce como temporary state, es una acción temporal she's working at the museum until the end of the month ella está trabajando en el museo hasta el final del mes entonces es una acción temporal teacher, I am, I am visiting my grandparents in, in London Oh, so you are visiting your grandparents in London. Es una acción temporal. Teacher, I am studying at, at the university. This is my fourth, my fourth year at the university. O sea que es tu cuarto año en la universidad. Sí, ah, entonces es una acción temporal. I'm studying. Es una acción temporal. Entonces, esa es como la diferencia de los dos. Del present simple y el present continuous. Vamos a ver otros ejemplos. Look at some other examples. Eh, esta es como la introducción, ¿verdad? Esta es como la introducción. Vemos el, el siguiente ejemplo. Uh, how to use simple present versus uh, present continuous. Vamos a ver, vamos a leer parte 1 y parte 2. Y la vamos a ir haciendo, vamos a ir leyendo a la par. Para eso vamos a elegir. Um, let me see here. Omar Francisco, usted nos va a leer la parte 1. En Mauricio Enrique, usted nos va a leer la parte 2. Entonces, eh, Omar, you can start. Ok, we use simple present for general information. Go to this activities. I check my email every morning. We write report about meeting. She Audi inventories. They are I meeting. We use present continuous for ongoing action at the time of speaking. I am planning a video conference. They are getting the document ready. She's editing the information. The secretary is making a phone call. Exactly. So this is this is actually uh, one example here. Aquí nos dice en como de forma resumida que we use the present the simple present for general information. Es decir, que el presente simple es un poquito más general. 
y se basa también en actividades o rutinas, que es algo que el presente continuo no lo puede hacer, porque el presente continuo es algo que usted lo hace en un periodo de tiempo, ya sea corto o lo está haciendo en este momento, pero eh, el presente simple es algo que, no, que lo vamos a hacer cotidianamente, es algo común, like brush your teeth, cepillarse los dientes, take a shower, go to work, drink coffee, eh, walk the dog, eh, have breakfast, es algo que usted hace constantemente. En, en cambio, el presente continuo es para acciones eh, que son como no permanentes, sino que es acciones que están en marcha al momento de que lo estoy haciendo. Por ejemplo, si yo digo que estoy poniendo atención, es algo que yo lo estoy haciendo en este momento. No lo estoy haciendo en el presente simple, sino que lo estoy haciendo en este momento y de después voy a hacer otra cosa. Y por eso dice, I check my email every morning. Me indica que, es, que hago eso todos los días. Pero en cambio, si yo digo, I am planning a video conference, es algo que, es, que está pasando en este momento. O que está planeando para un presente continuo en futuro. Ah, estoy planeando una videoconferencia. Es algo que, que va a ser a futuro. Que el presente simple no tiene. El presente simple no tiene ese futuro. Eh, he writes reports about meetings. Es algo que hace siempre. They are getting the documents ready. Ellos están organizando los documentos. Entonces, continuo. She audits inventories. Ella audita eh, inventorías en este caso. She's editing the information. Ella está editando la información. Entonces, podemos ver la diferencia entre el presente simple, que es algo que es, es rutinario, y el presente continuo es algo que está pasando en este preciso momento, que está pasando en marcha. Esa es como la diferencia de las dos. ¿Preguntas hasta el momento? ¿Sobre la, la regla general? Si no hay preguntas, pasamos al siguiente ejercicio para poder fortalecer un poquito más el tema. Ok. Aquí está. Complete the sentences in present continuous. Thomas print out or Thomas is printing the contract. Cheryl meet with the boss right now. With the boss right now. Aquí le han puesto una... Una key, pero solamente es así. Right now. Uh, he take care of everything. I pay. Entonces usted va a elegir, va a completar las oraciones en presente continuo. Así que tenemos unos minutos para completarlo. Y usted va a elegir ahí eh, cuál es la forma correcta de present continuous. Like she's playing, dancing, working, traveling, using, living a Ready. Okay, great. Uh, somebody else finished?
somebody else finish? Finish. 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 Okay, let's see now. Well, what about the what about the second one? Who wants to help me to answer the second one? Okay, how will be the second one, please, guys? The cherry, the chattel. What will be uh, the number two? Yes. Meeting. Is meeting. Is meeting with the boss right now. Yes, it's meeting. So it's meeting with the boss right now. No me deja. No sé por qué no me deja. Okay. It's meeting uh, with the boss right now. Okay. Number three. What do you have for a number three? He take care of everything. What will be this? He's taking care. He's, he's taking, taking care. care. So he's taking care. Entonces, eh, se, se, si termina con una E, se sustituye la E y se le agrega ING. Y decimos, he is taking care of everything. Ustedes se fijan, eh, se le elimina la E y se le agrega ING. Ok, what about the pay? I pay attention to the instructions. I, I am playing. Paying. paying. I am paying attention I'm to the paying. I am paying attention am paying. Yes. to the instructions, right? So he's paying attention to the instructions. Vamos con la siguiente. She prepared. She's, she's preparing. She's preparing. She's yeah. Preparing. She, yeah. I'm using capital to highlight the words. Estoy usando eh, mayúsculas para para que sea más resaltable entonces por eso estamos usando acá uh, capital letter and the number six uh, they send they send the product they are sending they are sending they are sending si ustedes se fijan por eso es bien importante utilizar el verbo to be lo usamos al inicio para un presente simple y hoy lo estamos usando en combinación con el presente continuo yes. she's preparing ella está preparando they are sending ellos están enviando. Entonces, eh, hemos completado esta parte y vamos con la última. We go with the last part. Dice, eh, write in the boxes the activities you usually do on Monday morning. Usted va a escribir eh, en, en las cajitas qué actividades son las que usted usualmente hace los días eh, lunes en la mañana. Número uno. I revise, I always revise. ¿Qué hago yo? Vamos a ver. Um, one second. The camera, the microphone. Uh, I always, I always uh, check the today's agenda. Es decir, la agenda de hoy, the today's agenda. O Monday's agenda, por ejemplo, uh, Monday's agenda es una de las cosas que yo hago. Eh, o por ejemplo, I, I usually check the memos. Eh, que podría ser otra de las cosas que most of the time I do in the morning. Ok, vamos a ver. I, I usually check the memos. Mm, I sometimes eh, have a meeting in the morning. Es súper raro que tenga reuniones en la mañana. Eh, súper raro. Eh, mornings. Ok, so I can talk about those activities que usted pues, usualmente, eh, usualmente hace. ¿Y qué más hago? Quiero ver. I eh, complete the attendance report. Attendance report for every class. That's what I do. So... That's what I do. So I complete the attendance report for every class. That's what I do. Eso es lo que hago. 
Así que en este momento vamos a, vamos a trabajar en parejas y usted va a compartir eh, qué actividades usted hace eh, los días lunes. Eh, Monday's morning, that's what you had to do. This is what you had to do. Antes de que formemos las los parejas, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Equation. A question or doubt that you have about it? Preguntitas? No question. In simple present. Could be simple present, yeah. Porque en este caso, cuando. cuando okay. Ya, yeah, porque dice, eh, you usually. Cuando usted hace algo, por lo general, oh. es, es una rutina. Entonces, si es una rutina, es un presente simple. Cuando habla de rutinas. Uh, habla de... Daily. Okay. Yeah. Daily routines. Daily routines, yeah, daily routines. En ese caso, cuando es rutina, automáticamente es presente continuo. Cuando le piden, por ejemplo, que haga cosas en el momento, entonces es presente continuo. Porque es algo que usted está haciendo inmediatamente, que esté, está haciendo en marcha. I am working on this. I am playing in this game. So I'm, I'm working on this report. I am traveling. Entonces, son acciones que están pasando. Pero en este caso, nos pide eh, rutinas. Que en este caso solo las tiene el present simple. Así que vamos a trabajar en parejas. Y usted va a compartirle a sus compañeros. Acerca de your daily routine. That is going to be the game. So, let me, vamos a cambiar los breakup rooms. Vamos a hacer nuevos. Recreate them. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ver. Let's see here. Um, vamos a... Yeah, I'm looking for a name right now. Ok. Let's see. Okay, let me see here. Okay, we're going to, we're going to, well, we're going to work Sorry. on, yes, yes. Sorry. How do you say embarque? Like bark, de, de embargue o embarque? What's embarque. The word? You can say like embark. That is, that's actually one. Eh, le voy a escribir una que es bastante común. Let me see. Okay. Here. Uh, Thanks. The, the chat. Okay, one second. Uh, shipment. I see, like this. But I mean, pulls are boarding. Boarding. Okay. All right, así que, uh, okay, we're going to have uh, seven minutes to socialize this information. Tenemos siete minutos para socializar la información. Así que, let's go. You can do it. Uh, do you see the invitation, uh, Jose? Do you see the invitation? Se quedó como congelado, like frozen on the screen. So maybe he is in the breakup room right now. So let's see. Uh, maybe because of the internet connections, right? It was like a stock. So let's see if we can get some problem. Okay, that's better.
Go. Normally Go. check my client clients in areas. I often have break breakfast at work. And, and sometimes use my lunch in in, in refrigerator. And I have meeting of salts in Monday and check report of salts normally in Monday. Eso más o menos es lo que hago los lunes. Los lunes, ajá. Y, y a veces me estoy durmiendo también los lunes. <risa> a veces pasa. <risa> sí, vale. Repito, las mías, a ver. Hay... My... Quiero ver dónde está. Ah. I check weekend sales. I monitor the close projection. I always check emails and I check inventory and prepare the forecast. And usually drink coffee on Monday. Okay. Hi, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Solo que si gustan lo repiten porque yo no puse atención por estar haciendo lo mío. <risa> ok. ¿Repite Omar o repito yo? Los dos. Bien, revisa lo que dejó pendiente el, eh, la semana pasada, ¿verdad? No, oh, sí, sería, lo primero que hago al llegar es obviamente desinfectar por lo del coronavirus, antes no lo hacía, pero ahora sí. Eh, pero segunda, no desinfecten recitar, tanto eh, el, el lunes porque ya el virus ya se murió en cuatro horas. Ah, pero siempre hay que estar a la vanguardia. No, hay que estar limpiando cuando eh, llega gente. Clean. Bueno, yo me he vuelto bien traumada con todo eso, siempre ando limpiando. Clean the dead. Bueno, ya no van a sacar, pero eh, yo, yo dije que lo primero desinfectar, después revisar la agenda de las actividades que más o menos vamos a hacer, vea. Eh, okay. Reviso el correo porque siempre lo hago frecuentemente. Check, check eh, revisamos, revisamos con mi compañero más o menos el reporte de la semana anterior para, para ver que nos que nos cuadre, vea, por si quedamos con dudas. Ya, si me imagino por dónde va Lisa. Ah, una historia sí, larga. Sí, más o menos, más o menos. Teacher, ya no lo yo. Hi, hi. Um, hi. Hi, they just like actually, well, join, me acabo de unir, no, I didn't listen anything, no, no escuché nada. Eh, ¿Todo bien? Ah, no, teacher, no inventes. Uh -huh. Todo bien, ya todo lo bien. habíamos dicho, pero lo podemos decir ahorita otra vez. Ok, one minute. <ríe> un minuto, un minuto y medio. ¿Cómo vas a hacer? Va, va. Síganlo usted, Mauricio. Okay, I, drink I drink coffee. I eat my breakfast. I attend requirements. I assign tasks. Tasks to my co-worker. Ok, great. Excellent. Super, super. Yo. Ahora voy yo. Um, 
check my email, order the desk, check salad report, process paint system. Teacher, siento que ya no hago nada porque eso, eso lo dio toda la vida. Siento que ya no hago nada, van a decir que no trabajo. <risa> no, pero no eso hace, pues así que cuento. Pero cuento sí, porque pues, sí. es lo que haces o estás ok. Está bien, está bien, me parece. Sí. Pero y no está bueno. Sentir que no hago. <risa> oh my God, oh my God. Y no. Mauricio tenía una duda, teacher, de cómo se decía la de asignar. Él decía asignar, perdón, Mauricio. Assigned. Ajá, as assign. 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 Uh -huh. Assigned. Assigned task. So it's activities. Assigned task. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Muy bien, chicos. Time is up. Vamos a regresar. We go back. Excellent. Congratulations. That was great. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to pass the attendance list. And so please, when you listen to your name, um, I want you to, well, to say present. Vamos a ver. Eh, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Me dice si me escuchan, por favor. Yes. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you, very kind, very kind. Okay, let me see, because it's actually it's loud in here, the, uh, the page. So it's uh, it's gonna take me one minute. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. One moment. Okay. Um, Ana, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Brian, Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Um, Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Present. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Elías Sael Matut. I hear. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Mauricio Enrique Garcia. Present teacher. Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. Present. Mayra Beraliz Moreno. Present. Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Wendy eh, Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Y Jenny Suleima. Present. Excellent. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. were very kind. Eh, fíjense que tengo acá, ya para culminar, eh, tengo a, para este día eh, a Marisol Betsania Pacheco para la, yes. para la sesión. Ok. Así yes, es que, ok, perfect. Bien, así que chicos, no se les olvide, por favor, realizar el, el ejercicio que corresponde a este día en la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Así que complete the exercise. And thank you so much. Congratulations because you have done a great job. Eh, el día de mañana les voy a mandar por ahí un pequeño enlace que les va a servir para practicar un poquito sobre el presente continuo. Así que si tiene un tiempito ahí, lo hace y es bastante sencillo. Así que yo se los envío el día de mañana.
Así que, thank you so much, guys. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy your night. You too. Okay, thank you, Bye. teacher. See you see tomorrow. You. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye. God bless, okay. God bless you. Marisol, me quedo con Marisol, ¿verdad? Así que eh, tenemos aquí. Yes, teacher. Ok, bien. Marisol eh, Betsania. ¿Cómo está, Marisol? Ay, bien, cansada y con sueño, teacher. Ya, yeah, I know, I know. Pero ya casi, ya casi. Ya se acerca. Sí. Ya un, hace un, unos 10 minutitos. <ríe> ok. okay. All right. Okay. okay, Marisol. Uh, tell me, um, how do you feel about this uh, second model? How do you feel about this uh, step? Because it's a uh, next step. Estuvimos en el módulo uno. And then now we go on. We continue with the next model. So how do you feel? ¿Cómo, cómo se siente? Um, bueno, eh, en español, ¿verdad, teacher? Bueno, <laughs> si lo puedes decir en inglés, mejor. O sea, en, por mí, no, excelente. no puedo todavía. Okay. Este, pues me ha gustado, teacher, la verdad. Las clases han sido bastante interesantes. Um, hay cosas que sí, de verdad, las estoy aprendiendo de, como nueva, como niña nueva. Hay muchas cosas que, que la verdad yo obviábamos, ¿verdad? Vimos el inglés básico nada más hace uh, mucho tiempo. Entonces ya a estas alturas algunas cosas ya no, ya no las recordamos. Eh, me estoy identificando con el lenguaje del trabajo. Um, ahora veo vacantes eh, en, las, en las redes de, de empleo y ya, ya sé que es un bookkeeper, ya entiendo lo que están pidiendo. Así que... En cuanto a la lectura, siento que, que entiendo un poco. Me cuesta mucho siempre el listening, el escucharlo. Me siento que ahí es sí, muy, muy, porque muy rápido. Si fuera un poco más lento, lo siento, este, me es un poco más fácil. Ok, Así y eso... Que, eso fecha. Oh, está bien, bueno, creo que, que lo tiene lo más importante, que es eso de la motivación. Porque para aprender un idioma, you know, to learn a language, the first step is to be motivated. O sea, no puedo aprender algo que no me guste o algo que no le ponga empeño. Entonces, creo que es un sí. proceso. Y pues es, he visto bastante que, que ha estado participando, that you have been participating in classes, that you have been speaking. Y eso es bastante bueno porque eh, no le tiene miedo, se suelta a hablar. Y creo que esa es la clave. Hay muchas personas que de repente están aprendiendo inglés, pero dicen, no, oh, es que yo no quiero practicar, me da miedo, siento que... I'm, I won't learn, so I won't practice. Entonces, pero, o sea, no se trata tanto de que vas a practicar y lo vas a hacer a la primera. O sea, vas a practicar y pueda que, pueda que uno en el camino lo practique una vez, dos veces, tres veces y quizás quiera más. Es decir, eh, la oportunidad sí. es eh, lanzarse al agua, como dicen, y practicar. Esa es como la clave, no tenerle miedo y de ahí automáticamente usted ya va a ir aprendiendo, va a ir enfocándose un poquito más en estructuras y se va familiarizando más. Es mucho mejor. Ok. So, eh, ¿hay algún contenido que le haya sido difícil o haya tenido alguna duda o alguna inquietud? Eh, sí, este último que acabamos de ver, teacher, eh, algunas cosas. Eh, entiendo que el presente continuo es... es acciones temporales, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Y en las otras son como acciones permanentes. A la hora de, de, de expresar, eh, cuando usted dijo que usáramos los, eh, la, la, ¿cómo se llama? Always, eh, sometimes, usuality. Ajá. Usually, perdón. Este, tienen que ver con el presente sí, con el presente simple. Sí, sí, la mayoría sí, porque acuérdese de que el presente simple indica hábitos en presente. Entonces, cuando usted ocupa los, los adverbios de frecuencia, es, es como un hábito, es algo que usted hace todos los días. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I always take a shower. O sea, yo siempre me baño, es decir, algo que usted hace siempre. Es algo que usted no deja de hacer. Entonces, en cambio, el presente continuo, no, no describe acciones eh, como hábitos, sino que presenta también, por ejemplo, malos hábitos, eh, que es totalmente...
Hola, hola, ¿me escucha? Hola, hola.